What's up, guys? It's uh, Sunday, about 5.30. And uh, I wanted to show you what I do to build a wick for a rebuildable. I'm not going to put it on here because the, the wick I got on here is it's nice and uh, made right. I did it a little while ago. And I'll show you. It's a single coil at 0.5. You know, single coil, 0.5. Uh, the air hole, I got a medium air hole on here. Just fits between the top uh, little groove. I didn't want to make it too big. Uh, my Igo L, I have a dual coil. Two huge ass holes. And that thing just blows clouds for days. But, uh, you know, this is what I use every day. So, you know, when I go out, whatever, I don't want to have a concert, you know. But, yeah. So, what I do, I use 27 gauge Canthal, where you can get at Temco on eBay. Uh, I got 50 feet of it. I think 50 feet would be enough for a little while. And it's cheap. I mean, you get 28 for uh, 28 gauge, 100 foot for about 8 bucks. You know, I forgot how much I got there. I got this, I think a little bit less than that. Uh, can't go wrong. What I use is cotton, okay, cotton wick. What you do is you go to any craft store. You know, I went to Michael's, and you buy a ball of yarn. And let me see if I can find it, if I can show you. I'm gonna move you a little bit. Uh, that was my yarn. I knew I should have put it on here. Oh, there it is. I haven't even made a dent in it. You know, it was about two bucks for a ball of yarn. And what you do is you boil it. And, uh, sorry, I had to go behind and check to see if I was still in front. Uh, what you do is you boil it for about five, 10 minutes. I do it for 10, just, and that takes out all the, all the shit that they put into it to, uh, to clean it and also it sterilizes it so so I use you know cotton so to build my wick what I do is loop it just like you're gonna do a regular regular coil I mean a regular wick you go three times and you bring it back so what you left is one one loop so what you do is you grab it just like you're gonna wrap a wick Okay, to a point where it can't hold your wrap anymore. And then what you do is you just bring it back. And if you want, then you bring it that way. So what you're left with is, it's a wrap and then you got a single strand in the back. So then you get your wire You have your wire and you put it on the back of it on that single strand and you start wrapping. And what I usually do is a four wrap that puts me at a point five, point six. If I want a little bit higher, I go five. But for this for this video and for what I'm going to use it for. So what you got is this, and hopefully you can see it. If not, I'm sorry. But I'll explain it as good as I can. What you got is that. Now, when you put it in your mech, depending on what you put it on, you can either leave it in. What I usually do is I cut it, I cut it, and then I fold it back a little bit on itself. But what you're left is on the back, it's exposed. Because it's got that single, single strand, and on this side, it's in the grooves of 
the the wick. So what happens is when you drip on here, okay, the cotton holds a lot more than silica. And having your wick in uh, in between those creases of the of the wrap keeps your wick your wick. Um, let me see. Your, Keeps your coil always in contact with the juice, no matter what. Okay, unlike I don't have one. This is another one. Actually, unlike this one, which I can't take it off right now, but. Unlike, unless the you know, unlike the traditional wicks that you grab and you, you just fold and you wrap around, all it is is the juice on the inside of the coil. Okay? So what happens is your coil will get hot and it won't the juice has no time to come out. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, hope you understand that because I'm confusing my own self. But with this one, there's always contact with the juice because one side is on the outside, which this side will be the one that you'll put uh, facing out towards the hole. You would think you want to put the, the, the embedded, but you don't. You want to put the one that's on the outside strand. Reason being, that's the one that's going to get hot the most. So you want to keep that one with the airflow. You keep down with the airflow. What happens is that side gets hot, and it'll, and the heat will radiate to the back and burn the uh, the coil evenly. Okay. Uh, reason why I know is because I've tried both ways, and I found that that way works the best. It might work different for you. You try it either way you want. I'm just you know giving another example on a way to build a coil that will. Uh, maximize uh, dripping and maximize the usage of uh, of e juice. Um, you know, ultimately use the same amount of e juice, no matter what. But you'll run less of a burning coil, less of that burnt taste that we get most of the time when we get to that end of the juice expect expectancy. You know, and I've never had a dry hit. I've never had this juice since it is colored. Well, not colored. It's natural. It's not like they add coloring to it, but it's the way I have to make it. Uh, after about a week of use. The coal is like black. It's got mm -hmm. all the. Uh, it's not burnt. It's just what's in the e-liquid. Okay, uh, the coloring. When I use my clear e-liquid, after about a week, the coil is still nice and, and and white. My wick is still nice and white. I mean, you know, you could tell the difference between e-liquid. If you use a darker e-liquid, you're gonna have a darker burning coil. Uh, usually how you know your coil is already bad is you start getting that weird funny taste to your e-juice. It's no longer that enjoyable taste. It's that weird funny taste. Doesn't mean it's burning. It just means your coil is already at its maturity. And beyond that you're just going to keep getting that weird taste. So it's time to build a new coil. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully you'll understand the process of making that uh, this coil. Uh, I do it to help give more. You know, if somebody else is doing the same thing, please, I haven't seen it. So don't yell at me and call me a biter or anything. I haven't seen it. And it's what I always do. And I found that it works good for me. Uh, may not work good for you. I mean, but this is what, how our community works. We share with each other. We help each other out. We try to make vaping. Uh, 
a family thing, you know, and that's my goal, to help out those just starting off. Uh, like I said, I don't like showing how to build coils because I don't want people who don't have experience doing it saying, oh, I could build a coil like that and try and, then, you know, something happen. But, you know, I have to, uh, uh, not have to, but I wanted to show a way to build, you know, a, a more juice-friendly coil, uh, in my opinion. So, there you go. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you have any other ideas or any other comments or better way to build this coil, feel free to comment down there and feel free to let me know. Uh, I invite everybody to participate in, in whatever. And if you wanna, you know, just add me. You know, it'll, it'll be kinda nice. Like the video. Even if you don't want to like the video, you know, you want to hate the video, go right ahead, hate the video. At least, you know, I could come on here, look, somebody hated my video. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, I, I, I don't mind. I don't get mad. I really don't care. I don't do this. I don't do this for people to, you know, to get paid. You know, yeah, do I like to get paid? Yeah. But, you know, I do this to help the community out. So hopefully it did. Uh, I'm just rambling on because I feel like, you know, I gotta do a little bit more on the video camera because it's just staring at me. And, uh, you know, yeah, I'm gonna do another bait just for the hell of it. Not like y'all care. So, there you go. Uh, this, I forgot to say, this would be a point five point six ohm. Or did I just say that? I said that before, didn't I? My OCD and my ADD and my C now. Uh, my Alzheimer's is kicking in. But yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohm. So happy vaping. Enjoy your Sunday. And next video will be up on something. I don't know what the hell I'll talk about. Maybe I'll talk about this black nasty drip tip I got on the fucking octopus because I can't find my chrome one. Check y'all later. Have a good one.